All right, last week we got the well drilled. Today we're going to be putting in um, the pump, the wiring, and all the plumbing so we can actually have rainwater. Come on in, I'll show you what we got going on. Okay, so this is the pump we're using, and we had to go with a 115-volt um, pump. This is a submersible pump. This is actually going to go down in the well about 100 feet. And we went with 115-volt because it's going to be a lot easier on our solar system that this is going to be running off of. Um, and we're putting this in ourselves because we just want to save a little money, and it's going to be a lot cheaper than having someone else come out and do it. Um, we've never done this before, but it seems pretty straightforward, and we're going to give it a go. Um, I know the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to tie this thing off. Um, to our poly rope, which is also 100 feet. And this is basically what's gonna hold this thing from dropping down in the bottom of the well. Okay, so we got the rope tied off to the pump, and this pump, like I said, is gonna go all the way down 100 feet into the well. Next step is to get some Teflon tape onto this top fitting. And this is basically gonna go into the top of the pump. And then our pipe it's going to run up 100 feet to the top of the pump, and I'll show you how to get that on there next. Okay, let me get this as snugged on there. And um, like I said, it's our first time putting it on, so the reason we're putting it 100 feet down that well is we have static water level at 50 feet, and the well company who gave us the quote on putting this down there said that's where they would put it, it would be at 100 feet. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is connect our wiring. So this is going, this whole pump in the wiring is going to be underwater. So you want to do um, this waterproof uh, heat shrink wrapping around the wires. So basically you feed all those on, get rid of them for a little, and you're going to use a crimper. and crimp those on. And I'm going to do all these and then we're going to crimp it to our 100 feet of 12-2 wire and this is made for actually going underwater for submersible pumps and it's 12 gauge and you have your two wires plus the ground. All right, and when you're crimping these down and connecting all the right wires, you want to get them so they're really, really sturdy because if anything ever happens to this rope, this rope fails or something, basically this wire is going to be one of the only things holding that pump um, from falling to the bottom of your well. Okay, so we got this all wired, and you basically just want to run the heat shrink right over the top, get it in the middle. And you basically want to heat it, and what that's going to do is shrink it and form it right to this wiring, uh, create a waterproof seal. And I usually just start on the ends and work my way in. A bigger torch would work better, but you can use one of these, you can even use a, a lighter, you can use a, a heat gun. Um, this doesn't take too long this way though. How do you know when you're done? Uh, it, this will pretty much stop shrinking and you'll know you're done. And then I'm also going to put some tape on the edges just as a little more security when we're, when we're done uh, shrinking this down. And you want to keep moving the flame around because you will burn a hole in this stuff. Okay, so you can tell that's the one that we just did. And that's basically what it looked like before. So that's going to create a watertight seal. What I'm going to do is just run a little extra electrical tape on there. 
Okay, we're at the other end of the wire and I'm gonna put the plug on and get it wired in. And what we're gonna do is, before we put that pump down in the hole, we're gonna plug it into the generator and just make sure that we have power to it and it works and everything. Okay, uh, I got the plug wired in my fire up generator and we're gonna check if it works real quick. So, I wired it correctly, it works. Uh, our next step is gonna be to get our pipe um, onto here and then we're going to Tighten it up with just some nice stainless hose clamps. And hopefully we'll be able to get this on. Um, if not, we'll have to heat this plastic a little bit. So let's see what it does. Now I'm just going to tighten her up. Okay, we got our hose clamps on, and I'm just gonna run some tape over them to keep any sharp edges from getting near our wiring, because we don't ever wanna have to pull this thing up. Oh, we tape it when we're putting it down? Yep. Okay, so we have everything the way we need, and we're gonna start lowering it in. Luckily, we have two people, so Errol's mostly going to hold on to our um, safety rope, make sure we don't lose it down here. I'm going to slowly feed it in, and then we're going to tape the rope and the wire to this pipe about every 10 feet or so. And um, we'll just show you guys a little bit of us lowering it down in there. Ready? Got the rope? Yeah. There ain't no going back. You turn that rope tight now? You're trying to get that one hurting against me. Okay, so we got it down uh, without dropping it yet. So I'm gonna run my wiring through our well cap. I'm gonna run the pipe. And then I'm gonna untie my rope. And I'm gonna make sure to hold on to it because I don't want to lose this thing. And the rope's gonna run through that one. Okay. And this is basically what's gonna feed through um, that hole and it's gonna hold the rope on to us so. Give this a couple times around. Okay, so I got my rope tied off and I'm gonna put my cap on and feed it down in there. Tops fit pretty snug. Okay. 
Okay, now all this is doing is pinching the two pieces of the wheel cap together and there's a, a rubber gasket in there and it pushes it out and that's gonna hold this in here so you can't get it on or off. Yeah, so basically now all that's holding that pump up there is it's all on that rope. Okay, this is the system we're gonna run. Um, we don't have rain water in our house, so we're basically, our setup's just gonna be a faucet out here that we can hook a hose to and stuff and fill up our holding tank inside. But yeah, we got our, our faucet on here, and we got it wired, we got it, this all tightened up, and before I seal all these so no water debris gets down in the well, uh, we're gonna test it out one more time and see if it actually flows water. Okay, so Eric put some outdoor caulking on there. And we're gonna let that dry before we attempt to pull more water out of our well. Then it's standing on the wood that we need to cut. Um, so what we're gonna do, because this is a well we just had drilled, usually you wanna annually test your well water, at least at a minimum. We're actually gonna send off a water sample to, not send it off, but go deliver it to a lab nearby so they can test it for bacteria, arsenic, and I think it's nitrate that is in the water here, or it was things that they can sometimes find in your water. Um, there is a little bit of sulfur and probably iron in there just because it's well water. You can also get those at home kits, but I think we're gonna do this first and then go from there, maybe annually just do an at home kit. So we wanna be sure that it's good water for drinking. I'm just glad we got running water. We don't have to pay for it anymore. <laughs>